Good morning, YouTube family and friends. Welcome in any newbies that clicked on this video. Lynn here with Lynn and Things. And this morning, I wanted to bring a quick breakfast. So, lately, I really have been on the overnight oats. I really like that. Me and my daughters love it. I just love how soft and creamy and delicious it is the next day. So I got this bright idea to try to do it with cream of wheat. <laughs> so last night I put some cream of wheat, milk, cinnamon, and brown sugar. And I just wanted to see if it would kind of plump up like the oats do. I see it didn't. But we know it's still going to cook in the microwave. So this is part of my breakfast this morning. So I'm going to put it in the microwave and see if it comes out like cream of wheat. Give me one sec. Okay, guys, so I went ahead, I put the cream of wheat in the microwave, cooked it up, and it came out. Let me show you. Like cream of wheat does. Nice, smooth, velvety, creamy. I grew up on cream of wheat. I really, really love it. But it was a fail thinking that it would be like the rolled oats or the uh, overnight oats where it plumps up. But you know, oatmeal does that, it, it plumps up. But now I've learned, <laughs> experiment, that I guess the wheat does not puff up. So I just cooked it regular in the microwave for a few minutes, no problem. I'm going to top it with a little bit of cinnamon. And I put a little butter in it already. I use Earth Balance. Remember I was saying I, I like to do substitutes for things. Um, I've kind of switched out of using real butter. I only use real butter. Uh, depends on what... I'm making but 90% of the time I'm using uh, plant-based butter so I love earth balance and I love the country crock plant-based butters so though between those two that's what I'm using but we also wanted a smoothie this morning so I'm going to show you our quick smoothie peanut butter banana smoothie so I got my ingredients here is I'm using some peanut butter. This is a squeezed peanut butter. It makes it easier for me to get it into the blender. Got my almond milk here. Got to have some chocolate, so I got a little Hershey's. Got our bananas. And uh, some ice, okay? So we're going to dump our things into the blender. All our ingredients into the blender. The bananas are in. I'm going to squeeze in some peanut butter. I love this little packet. When I saw this in the store, I thought this was genius because I love to make this smoothie. And this makes it so much easier than trying to get the peanut butter out of the regular jar with a spoon. This is so convenient. I, I really like this packet. So if you make smoothies with peanut butter and you see these, it might be a good idea to pick these up. Then I'm gonna pour in uh, some Hershey's. It's gonna be time for me to get some more Hershey's. I feel like this one is ending on me. Got some Hershey's, chocolate. I, say, I guess I gotta get me some more of that. And then I'm gonna pour in my almond milk. And then we're just going to put in a couple of cubes of ice. About four or five cubes. These cubes are kind of big, so I don't need too many. All of my ingredients were cold, though, so. And so now I'm going to take this over and put it onto its base and blend it. Okay guys, got my drink all blended up. I'm gonna pour it into our glasses.
grab us a straw. And there we have it. Our chocolate banana almond milk smoothie. I love this because you're going to get a lot of protein from the peanut butter and the almond milk. And the bananas will be able to get our potassium. It's just a perfect blend. And it does make you feel full. So we're about to sit down and have breakfast. I just wanted to say good morning. Thank you for stopping by and spending your day with me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Have the rest of your day.